tribe they are living the exact same way like 10,000 years ago and in the end of this video we are going to see if they are happier than normal people immediately when I arrived they handed me their clothes that they were made from animal skin and I felt honored <laughs> oh, oh, oh good I can't believe they give you the assistant headband as well. I'm an important person in the tribe. You have to follow me. I'm not in the tribe, so I don't. Okay. They gave me a lot of We are going to explore the role of the girls in this tribe now with Gastul. Gastul is our guide. He knows their language and will help us communicate with them. Do you think these women like me? I don't know. I'm going to protect the women now. Men in this tribe, they do the hunting and the women, they do the gathering. They take care of their babies, make food. So we found this tree in the middle where we were walking. She started eating stuff. I don't like it. All of them, they are digging holes like this. So I think she found some roots. Let's see what... Oh, how this tastes like. Thank you. This potato had a horrible taste, to be honest. Come on, see this. Ah! <laughs> you want to do it for the girls, don't you? <laughs> so these people, they have no sense of age, how old they are, or even what day is it. Yeah, they don't know. While I was walking back to the tribe, I accidentally damaged the clothes that they gave me. Castul, do you think they will still like me? I can't say. <laughs> they trusted me and I disappointed. I was scared about how my friend is going to react. Your friendship is over now. So this is the person that I broke his set. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying it's normal when you're moving around the bush, you must catch it. Ah, okay. I was worried that I made a mistake. The girls already started cooking the wild potatoes that they collected and I was so amazed about how fast they opened their fire without light. And this is how you start the fire. So they put all the roots on the fire for all the people to eat now. When they kill something, they bring to the village. So no sense of belonging. This is mine. This no. Is yours. Everything is owned by everyone. And this is kind of cool. We sat down all together and we started eating. So you started liking their food? It's not tasty. I want to experience what they experience. Usually people in developed countries have unlimited drinking water. This is how the tribe gets water. They just dig on the ground. We'll try to drink. Good. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die. If I die, you will say to my family that I love them. Okay. <laughs> they spend a lot of their time to collect sticks and cutting them down to make arrows. And they use wood peel for rope and bear feathers for aerodynamics. After he starts designing it and then they even color it. Beautiful. We also went to the next type that makes the metal for the arrowhead and got to see them make it in front of us. Look, he's doing it right in front of us. He actually did it, wow. Children in this tribe, they are not isolated. They go with all of them. And this is the best way for the children to learn. Oh, wow. This is age, usually watch Baby Shark on YouTube. And he's over here hunting. Do you want an iPad instead of a bow in there? What's the matter with you? This tribe lives in Tanzania, a place located in Africa. And they live in the place where it's believed that the first humans were discovered. But for now, it's time to explore their houses. Crazy that they live inside this. You today inside. Okay. I love it. Beautiful. And five, six people sleep inside there. Where's the closet? Come here. Oh my God, I'm going to sleep here with them. And the ride would be so cool. I like this weird stuff so much. I don't know. It's like different. It's beautiful for me. So we find some women. Oh, he doesn't like him. The way that girls like you here, if you catch a bamboo in the hunting, you have a woman. You have a bunch of women. I don't like to kill animals because I'm vegetarian. But we came in this tribe, so the only thing that I can do is follow their tradition. Mm. He wants me to smoke with him, and I would not say no. My goal in this video is to see if these people are happier. You know what? Why they are happy? 
Why? Because you two, you showing love to them. You sitting near to them. You showing humanity. So I'm happy that they like me. Finally, my dream was about to become a reality. I was going to be the first person to spend one night with them. <laughs> yeah. Vegetarian. <laughs> They got flour from another tribe and they put it in the hot water and they cook it. Mm. <laughs> this was the best day of my life. I just see the stars now, the moon, and I'm here with my friends, the tribe. It's so beautiful. Coco, sleep. <laughs> so I just woke up. Morning, Coco. They gave me this and they said to me, brush your teeth. How do I brush my teeth? You make it soft a little bit. Yeah. Now is the big moment. We are going hunting with them. Morning hunting is very important for the boys. And this is what we are doing now. We have the dogs with us. Everything that we saw in this video comes down to this moment. We are going to see all the tribe in action and what you are about to see is going to be crazy. Dude, it literally hit the bird. Oh, he missed. Out here there is a lot of dangerous animals as well. They are divided so they cover more area. Hopefully we don't find any snakes. One of the reasons they don't shower is because they want to toughen their skin for them not to get scratched by the trees. I feel bad being with him because I'm scaring his birds away. We heard a lion from far and we changed immediately direction to not die. So they are leaving from here because it's the house of a lion? Yes. So we had to walk a lot longer. This is very tired. Yes! But it's good exercise. They found a bamboo and we are going to try to hunt it. Mama, this is fresh shit from the monkey. They are following their footsteps. Oh my god, they are experts. They found something on the tree. So here is the animal there. Everyone surrounded it. He hit it! Oh my god! The poor guy has an arrow in his chest. I've never seen something like this. This is crazy, oh my god. You have to go to the Olympics. Got another one. That bird is going to be gone by him. After this moment, I will become a real man. If you hit it on Terrible. <laughs> Their language is kind of very special. They speak Hadzabi language and they speak click. And this is kind of like we say end in our language. What are they doing? The, the bed is getting inside the hole. They are trying to get it out now. Oh my god, he got it! Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> it's kind of big! That was the craziest thing I've seen! And he's taking out more! <laughs> he got it, oh my god! So, Castul, they hunt with us today. Did they enjoy it or...? They enjoy it because they have enough meat. They kill different birds, big ones, small. They are searching for honey on the trees. He put a fire there so the bees go out. He's putting the smoke inside the hive there. It's a god of god. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It started eating. I think this is the craziest thing I saw in my life. Oh my god, crazy. It's very good. There's so much honey. They are still taking out. This is the best honey I've ever had in my life. These people, they are surviving by eating natural things. They are very healthy people. Slowly, slowly, I started feeling a very strong connection with the people of the tribe. Ah, uh, beep! <laughs> I love this guy. This tribe have no gods. They believe in nature. Look at how beautiful this is. They seem to avoid telling each other what to do, even to their children. It seems that everybody is free to behave and act as they feel like. And yet, they still live in morality, harmony and peace. After 10 hours of walking and hunting, we came back to the camp. I drank too much, that's what I hope. But I don't feel good. Are you okay? 
do we go to the hospital? No, I think I should just rest. This is what we hunted today and all the birds and he's already eating. While Nassim was resting, I was playing with my little friend. He's my best friend here. <laughs> so I'm spending my last hour here with all my friends, which is really cool. So Gastul asked him if he wants to live a normal life. I don't want to change anything from the situation he have, and also he's not expecting to do anything different. So he says he don't want to change. He want to live like that forever. Tell him that in half hour we are going to live. It's fine, but don't forget this life because this is bush everywhere you can sleep. Nothing will cost you. To the other side when you sleep, we will pay. He's saying here is better, welcome back again. We wanted to answer one question. Are these people happier than normal people? This is not a scientific answer, but in my opinion, they are. So, thank you for watching and subscribe. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably enjoy the video that I learned how to play the violin in 4 days.